Now this one, this particular problem, there's really no other way of doing this problem besides using log differentiation. It's because we don't really have any rule that allows us to have an x raised to an x. So pretty much the only way we can do this one is by log differentiation. So what we're going to begin with is getting rid of this power. We can do that by applying either an LOG log or LN on both sides. Uh, I'm going to take a natural log of both sides, a natural log, and then I have natural log of, of this. And by doing that one, that's going to allow me to take the power on top here and bring that down in front. So natural log Y, I have X plus 1 comes down front, and I have natural log X minus 2 left over. Uh, now that I have it down in this form, I'm going to take the derivative of both sides. If I do the derivative of the left-hand side, I'm going to do the derivative of ln y, which is 1 over y. But then I have to multiply it by the, the derivative of the inside there. Uh, derivative of y becomes y primed, or you could just simply use the u primed over u formula and write it out as y primed over y. But this is really the reason why we get that on the left-hand side. Now, this one here, we have two different things. So this is going to involve a product rule because you have the two different things here. So product rule says we take the first thing times the derivative of the second. Now when we do the derivative of the second, we're going to use that u primed over u formula. Okay, so on the bottom, that's our original u, what was inside the ln. On top, we're going to do derivative of x over 2, or uh, x minus 2, which is going to be a 1. Uh, derivative of x is 1, derivative of negative 2 is 0. Okay, so we have first times the derivative of the second, plus the second piece, natural log x minus 2, times the derivative of the first. The derivative of the first is going to be a 1, and we get that. Uh, so, uh, by writing it out, we get y primed over y equals x plus 1 over x minus 2, plus natural log x minus 2. Now the last thing we want to do is we want to multiply both sides by y so we can get y prime by itself. So I'm going to go back up here and erase this part. And we're going to get y prime equals a y times this whole entire thing. x plus 1 over x minus 2. Uh, and then we have natural log of x minus 2 over here. And so we're basically going to do this whole entire thing. I'll just put a bracket around. Uh, the whole thing here. Uh, so this whole entire expression is being multiplied by a y. The y, we can just go ahead and put the original one back in there again. And so then y primed is equal to x minus 2. So we're just replacing the y with this expression, x minus 2 raised to the x plus 1. And all this is multiply inside. I have x plus 1 over x minus 2. I have that. Uh, and then I have, this is actually a plus inside here, I forgot to put that, plus ln x minus 2. And that's about as far as you, that's as far as you need to go for it. Yes, it is possible if you multiply by this, you could do some simplifying there uh, by having that raised to the power of x, but then you're going to have this multiply by ln, so not really going to be that beneficial to distribute this. Uh, and so basically your answer would be this last line here, this whole thing would be, uh, this whole expression would be your answer. Okay, for this next example, we're going to do another one with log differentiation. Now, it is possible to do this kind of problem by using a combination of product rules and quotient rules, but that's a lot more complicated. So log, log of differentiation allows us to be a little bit easier because we're pretty much breaking up the fraction. So we're going to do that by applying a natural log to both sides, uh, like the previous example. So we're going to do ln y. And we're going to put an ln on this side as well. So you get theta, sine theta over this. Now this one on the bottom here, I have secant raised to the third power. Uh, and I have a, a square root here. So I can turn this into a power. I'm going to write this as secant theta raised to the three halves. Uh, so I'm actually going to write it this way. So secant theta, and I'm going to raise that to the uh, 3 halves power. It's always the inside power divided by the index there, uh, so that's why it's 3 halves. Now since I've applied a natural log on this side, before I take derivatives, I'm first going to use my log properties to break this up. The first thing I can do is I can separate this into, uh, use the, uh, the quotient, separate the quotient uh, into this. So I got the top 
and then minus the bottom, and I have secant theta uh, 3 halves, uh, just like this. Uh, next thing I can do is I can break this up further because it's a multiplication. So I can do ln y equals ln theta times, uh, or plus rather, so plus ln sine theta. So I have ln theta plus ln sine theta. So the multiplication turns into addition there, and I still have this piece as it was uh, before, raised to the 3 halves. So now I'm done breaking everything up by using uh, pre -calculus. So I've taken it all down to here. Now, the, So the whole reason for you're breaking all this up is because now it becomes easier when you're taking the derivative. You can take the derivative of each of these things uh, separately. So now we're ready to apply a derivative to each one. So I'm going to erase this part up above. Hopefully you already have that uh, written down. And I'm going to take the derivative now of this line that I have here. This is the one that's been broken up by applying a natural log on both sides. Left hand side, I'm going to use the formula for taking the derivative, uh, the u primed over u formula, but I have a y here, so y primed over y. I'm going to take the derivative of each of these uh, things separately with, with respect to theta, since I have theta and all these. So uh, the derivative of ln theta would just be 1 over theta. Next, I need to apply the u primed over u formula. The u is sine theta. The derivative of sine is cosine theta. That's going to go on top here. That's your u primed. For this one, uh, what I'm going to do is uh, the 3 halves, what you could do, I'm going, to, I'm going to show an intermediate step here. So this one, I could have brought the 3 halves down in front first, so it's probably better to do that. So drop the 3 halves down just like this. So then when I take the derivative, I have a minus 3 halves I'll leave here. Then I'm just going to work with this part that's remaining. Uh, so when I do that, I'm going to do the, the u goes in the bottom. That's secant theta. Derivative of secant theta is secant tangent. So secant theta tangent theta will go on top. That's the, the u primed. Okay, so now we're going to do a little simplifying by using some properties. So first of all, these can cancel out. The secants cancel, and I get 3 halves tangent. Then I have cosine over sine, and that can be turned into a, a cotangent. So let me go ahead and erase this part here. And I have y primed over y equals 1 over theta plus, if I have a cosine over sine, I'm going to write that as uh, cotangent. And then I have minus 3 halves tangent theta left over there. Now I'm not done yet because I want to get y prime by itself. So I'm going to multiply both sides by y uh, over here. And so I get a y times uh, all this that I have inside the, uh, the parentheses. Uh, so I have all this uh, just like that. And so now the last thing we're going to do is uh, put in the, the y value into here. And that's going to be my final answer. Okay, so I have all this the way it is. I multiply both sides by y, uh, but then the very last step I'll do up here, uh, and this would be your final answer. Okay, so y equals theta sine theta over the square root of secant cubed. Taking all that, multiplying it by all the stuff I have here in parentheses, so 1 over theta plus cotangent theta minus 3 halves tangent theta, just like that. And that's going to be it. So we don't have to do uh, anything as far as simplifying is concerned. You don't need common denominators. It's okay to leave your answer uh, as something like that. You can just leave it outside. Uh, and so this would be your answer for why.